Range Armor allows you to export your game to distribute on platforms like itch.io, Steam, and other platforms. It also makes it so you can sell your games on these platforms without worrying about the open source nature of the Blender game engine. How to use Range Armor. If you're using Range 1.4, and above, you can use the Range Armor window from inside of Range Engine. If you are using 1.2, go to the location where you have Range Engine downloaded. For me, that's on my USB hard drive. Open the Range Armor folder and open the Range Armor panel. In the Range Armor panel, click the new project. This will open a window that will ask you where you want the project to be saved. Go to the location where you want your game to be exported to and call it the name of your game. For me, I'll name it Range Game Coin Jump. This will create the file structure for your game. Now we move on to the project paths. This is where Range will pull info like your Blender or Range player and other files that will run the game. To make a path, open the file that you saved when creating the new project. Inside you'll see the file named Data, Engine, Icons, and Launcher. For the paths, we'll open the Range folder. In this folder, you will have four options for your platform. Linux 32, 64-bit, and Windows 32 and 64-bit. You can make paths for each depending on which platform you would like to export to. Now go to the locations of your download of Range Engine. You'll need to copy all the files, the DLL files, the Blender Player file, and the Blender CRT, as well as the 2.9 files. And copy all the files and paste the files into your engine folder of choice. Then go into the 2.79 folder and delete the scripts folder. You don't need it. You will see that the paths in Range Armor are now gray instead of red. This means that Range has a good file path to work with. Now we can go to the Project tab. In this tab, we can name our game and add the version number for the game. Under the game version is a file that holds the game blend or range file. Open the project folder and go to the data file at the top. Depending on the version of range you have, it may have an example game inside. Delete the example game, then go into the location of your game and copy it. Paste it into the data file, make sure to pack your game textures before you copy it into the data file, then unpack your game inside the data file. This will pack all the sounds and textures of your game. Make sure the textures and sounds are in a separate folder inside the data file. This will help with loading times with the game. Then return to the Range Armor panel. Get the images you want to use and name them the same as the default icons in the folder. Click the Build Icons in the Range Armor panel, then go into the Tasks tab, click Save, and then Build Data. Wait for a second for the files to build. To test if everything is working, you can run the game from the range panel under the Run Game tab. Click the operating system you set up and run the game. It should open the game to playtest. Now you can export your game to the selected platform. Then wait for it to compile. When it's done, open your game folder. You will see a new file that is called Release. If you open this folder, you will see your game.exe file. And you can open it from there. And that's how to export your game with Range Armor.